there are various species that inhabit the wild plains of the internet. However, there is one in particular that has no doubt created quite the name for itself. Furries. Join me as we explore the mysterious world filled with allurement. And, well, whatever the f*** else. My name is Technical Difficulties, and this is r slash furry IRL. Alright, so first off, we got this whole doll e mini thing people keep going on about. Alright, let's see. I don't know how to draw my fursona. And... Huh. Okay, I was expecting something a lot more cursed. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still probably better than what I could do. I feel like it's appropriate to assume that sheep sonas are the barbers of the fairy world. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I kind of saw sheep as being that one nervous secretary who's the third hire in that position that month. But yeah, I can see this too. All right, buddy. All right, all right. Listen, I'm going to give you a choice, okay? You can either save people or all furries become their fursonas, all right? You know what you want, what we all want. These people might be criminals too, so you don't need to feel bad about doing it. Just think about how many people you'll make happy instead. Go on, let it happen. Please? Please, I, I'm really fucking desperate. All right, everybody. Today, I'm gonna be telling my parents that I'm a furry. So, um... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm now homeless. Imagine going to your job and one of your coworkers is drinking out of this motherfucker. I mean, that, what, a, what a power move. Like, if nobody else says anything, you can't call them out because then you'd have to reveal your own degeneracy. You just have to sit there knowing that the smug bastard got away with it. You know what? I might just do this. I might just buy a bad dragon mug and drink out of it in public, purely to smoke out other people and make them expose their nastiness. All right, call me out in public if you want, but are you brave enough to do it? I swear, you offend one cat boy and here come all their friends. All right, pack it up, warrior cats. Yeah, so you know that one group of warrior cats kids that you had in your school? You know, of course you do. Uh, I'm pretty sure they tended to operate this way, didn't, didn't they? You know, coming at you like the cats in the Lone Digger music video. At least that's how I think they imagine it. Alright, look, you're not in love. You're just horny. I honestly don't understand the difference. Yeah, um, you know, listen, you can keep calling them your comfort character all you want, but it's not a comfort character anymore if you keep jacking off to it. Warning. Remote areas ahead. For the next 1,000 miles, it's just you and whatever human lizard hybrids the genetic lab discarded here. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, hot reptilians in your area. Listen, it's gonna be a roll of the dice on this one. You're either gonna get the lusty Argonian maid, or you're gonna get fucking size off. Do you really want to take that chance? Since when did they start letting werewolves work at Starbucks? That first sip feeling. Y'all are fucking nasty, you know that? Oh no, Torchy looks like I'm stuck in this chair. I was trying to pick up his phone that fell through the chair until Torchy walked in. Wait, 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 crap, I'm actually stuck, I'm actually stuck, wait, wait. Imagine a person you know totally losing all sense of humanity, turning into a cruel beast, always in excruciating pain, slowly losing themselves to the wild and going on a murder rampage, to be brought back into the world from the darkness and having to deal with the guilt and consequences of something you can't control. That's a friend? No, that's a life of seclusion, guilt, and hate. Yeah, but werewolves are hot, so shut up. Listen, don't mind them. They're just butt hurt because their now ex wear BF blew out their hole. I think about it, and my Sona would fit more as a cheetah. Not because I'm super fast, but because I'm anxiety driven just like those stiff twig cats. You know, come to think of it, a friend of mine has compared me to a bear before. Maybe on the grounds that IRL, I'm tired, like food, and will rip you a new asshole if you wake me up. So, uh, guys, uh, how do, how do you want to explain it to them? The Bad Guys Collector's Edition with all new exclusive short is yours to own on digital and Blu-ray June...
21st. You, you can't tell me they didn't know what they did, okay? I mean, like, where do you think most of the sales for this movie came from? They had to have known. Jesus hugging a fursuiter in a cave while a guy eats ramen in the background. That is oddly specific. And I don't know why, but these images give off the same vibe to me as like that one group of kids in school who pretend to be in a cult. You know the ones I'm talking about. Me going on E621 to look at Femboy Furry Vor after calling Vor absolutely disgusting for several minutes. <clears throat> Projection. The attribution of one's own attitudes, feelings, or desires on someone or something as a naive or unconscious defense against anxiety or guilt. And, and if you're watching this, I know about your alt account, alright? You can call me a furry and chat all you want, but I know the fucking truth. A painting of a cute anthro furry holding a red rocket. Look, you, you leave that poor naive AI alone, alright? Artists? Furry porn artists. Hey. Hey man, what's up? Why do you have so much money? Hey. Hey you. Yeah, you. Touch grass. Now. Listen, as a Leafeon, do you really want to be saying shit like that? Around here. With these people. I, I don't really want to hang out with you guys. I I always end up hurt or worse. Not our fault you're so flammable and accident prone. Hey! Stop gaslighting the moth. Damn it. <laughs> gaslighting. Very poor choice of words there, buddy. Alright, everyone. That would be it for now. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you would like to see more videos like this. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter, and I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching.